Hello everybody, welcome back to Oakfield Farm. Now we do have two fields which are currently on the go. We have the grass field which needs to be bailed, but that's going to be most likely in a live stream if it hasn't happened already. And we also have the uh, the straw field, the, well, the uh, oat field. Good grief, you almost crashed into me. Yes, I have two helpers here. They're very busy driving my brand new lorry. And that has replaced the previous lorry, obviously. Uh, so that is going to be able to tow a double trailer. The reason for the double trailer is because we, ha we just have way, way too much straw in this field number 33, the field which I spent forever harvesting over the previous couple of episodes and the previous stream. So it has just generated so much straw that it's just going to generate that many bales that I've just decided to have two trailers auto loading Plus, I've got the uh, the mod which is recommended to me, the variable bale capacity mod, which allows us to have more straw within each bale. So that should be really helpful. Anyway, I just need to locate the other trailer like this, and then we can connect two together. Here we go. By the way, the lorry is by Edwards Modding. Edwards Modding does actually create a lot of mods, and they're very good too. Right, so this is actually the trailer which I have here is for the the back, the one you see just there is for the front but it has the dolly so it all needs to be swapped around uh, a little bit complicated but I'm just going to jump cut and get everything sorted out right, the lorry is sorted the only thing which I need to add to this long line of vehicles is the baler and we should see here that we have the current baler capacity you can see it says 4000 which is the default but I'm going to increase that to I think 8000 is the maximum oh, 10,000, 20,000 ok, well 20,000 might be a little bit too much, but I could definitely stretch to 10,000. We'll see how it goes. If it just makes it a little bit crazy, then I can always decrease it. And there we have it. We have the double trailer lorry, and we have the baler, and we have the windrower. Everything is going to be working together. Hopefully it's going to go well. Yeah, my, my greatest concern is the lorry turning, because obviously with the two trailers on these very narrow roads, it could be very difficult to get out of a sticky situation. But then again, you wouldn't really have to turn around on this very narrow road, so it shouldn't be a problem. Once we're in the field, it should be dead easy. So I have absolutely no idea how much straw we've actually generated. So obviously I have absolutely no idea how many bells we're going to produce. I could just make it very simple and just put the variable capacity to 20,000 litres. But then I, I don't know if we'd have not enough bales, it might just seem a bit weird having such a small amount of bales. Also, I'm not too sure if it does affect the mass of a bale, if it makes the bale the equivalent of 20 tonnes or something, then we're going to struggle to pick it up. But then again, we are just going to sell them straight away, so it doesn't really matter if I, if I do have a bale that heavy. Okay, so let's just get this unfolded. Obviously, I need to get everything set up. I'm just going to start randomly here, just because I need to get everything into the field to begin with. And these combines were a fairly decent width. I think we can get three swaths into one, though. So everything is set up and ready to go. The only thing which is going to probably require a bit of tweaking is the lorry, because that has to be offset. We don't really want the lorry to be driving over the bales. Also, it doesn't want to be so far away from the bales that it just misses them. So we're about to find out. Let's just see how it goes. The first belt always takes a while to actually pop out of the back. I'm sure they will be coming out much faster. Let's just see. Yep. Okay, so it is, it's instantly loaded it, which is the reason why you can't see it on the ground. It has immediately just gone on the bed of the trailer. And yeah, that's good. So, because it is a, a different capacity belt, 10,000 litres, it's taken some time to actually make it. Uh, I don't know if I should reduce it. I think we're fine with that. We've already got three bells, so that's fine. So this is what I'm going to do today. Uh, I should have turned left. I made a point to turn left, because otherwise the lorry is going to crash. Unless it doesn't have a collision, the bells are going to be the problem here. It might crash. Yes, because the bells do tend to have a collision for hedges. Although it seems to be fine. 
it seems to be going very easily, maybe too easily. <laughs> uh, that's good. It's very, very good. Obviously, not 100% realistic, but this is what I love about the game. You can just do anything. You can uh, push the game to its limits. You can do things which you obviously couldn't do in real life. And it does make it easier too. Both of those trailers are set up to pick up bells, so it should, in theory, just immediately transfer to the second trailer once the first trailer is full. So I'm going to crack on, and we are indeed taking three spots in one go, which is uh, very good. So maybe this field isn't quite as daunting as I thought it was originally. I was just so worried that we'd never get it all bailed. But looking at this, it's just really good. I think if I didn't have the variable bail capacity mod, we would probably have a full trailer already. In fact, we would do. Well, it's definitely going very well. I know that my viewers did intend for me to use the variable bell capacity more on the uh, the grass bells because of the amount that I was getting, in particular the, the round bales. Having a round bale with a capacity of 10,000 litres would be absolutely amazing. So I am going to be doing that, but that will likely be in a stream. If it's not in a stream, it will be in the next episode. It just depends whatever comes first. Uh, unless, like I say, the stream might have already happened because I never really know when I'm going to stream. Just depends when I get the time. Although I do usually stream at the weekend. If I am going to stream. So you can see that the first trailer is now full and it has automatically just continued over to the second trailer. So everything is working incredibly well. Like clockwork. Um, I think we are going to have enough space on the second trailer. So it should just be one massive full load from both of them and then we will be finished the whole field just in one go incredible stuff I do like doing it like this I know it's not really seen as super realistic or anything but then again uh, it doesn't have to be it's going to look absolutely amazing with uh, two full trailers I have actually done this before not on 19 I did it on 17. I think it was American Outback, it was called the map. And, well, the video did quite well actually. I think it's got quite a few views. But um, yeah, it's uh, quite an enjoyable thing to be doing. Double trailers. So you can see there as it turns, I think we've pretty much finished the lower level. We will have two more levels to fill. We can go three high. Uh, and then it will be time to sell. Now, it's going to be much more impressive than just selling two trailer loads just because the capacity has been upgraded from 4,000 to 10,000 litres in each bale uh, so actually more than twice the amount but yeah <laughs> if you did watch my live stream and I finished harvesting the field you will have seen what a mess those combines made and it was pretty much the workers fault but I'll take some of the blame uh, that's why we have such a mess of straw here which I'm, gonna, I'm just going to continue I'm just going to get it done so I'm just going to finish this whole field as a time lapse and then we can see exactly what we have on the trailers but I really am hoping to have two full loads I think it's, it's going to be close but it might be on the second second layer unless of course I do adjust it I could put the capacity back to 8,000 litres just to guarantee it anyway let's continue
Right, well, this is the end of the field. As you can see, we just have this very small section left to do. And I kind of messed up. I said it to 2,000 <laughs> 2, litres instead of 20,000 litres because I was just going to try and cram everything into the final um, space for, for one bale. So it probably would have been... Well, it would have all fit if I had said it's a 20,000, but it's so close. But it just looks so good anyway. Having two full trailers. So yeah, the majority of those bales are 10,000 litres of straw. It's probably going to jackknife, but I can drive it myself now anyway, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to call that done. Yes, it's jackknifed. That's been very enjoyable. More than I thought it would be, actually. I think it's mostly because you have to keep going back to the yard, and going back to the yard is a little bit repetitive. Right, so we do have 13,000 litres of straw left in there. You can't actually unload it until you have created the bale. It's just like any other bale. Uh, and you also can't affect or adjust the um, capacity unless you have a completely empty bale chamber. Right, so we do have 60 bales here. And like I say, most of them are at 10,000 litres, except for a few which were at two, 2,000 litres. So that was a mistake. Yes, it, it, we would have had the whole field in one go, but I'll just very quickly return and get them sorted out. But you can see why I have such a big lorry. It really does need to be. It's impressive stuff. Now, where is the best area to do a screenshot? Sorted. Right, so we're off to the sell point, and it needs to be somewhere with a good price. I did notice that usually the prices for straw are not even shown. Um, anywhere in fact but I do know that you can still sell the straw let's just go on to here yeah so as you can see zero for everything but that's fine we can still take it to our usual sell point which is in the yard I'm guessing going by that every single place is exactly the same so any bell sell point is going to give us exactly the same price for straw I don't know if it is a flat rate or not but it sort of makes me think that it is. Okay, I need to uh, slow down a bit with this amount of weight. Of course, yeah, we, we don't have standard bales here. These are special bales. They have a special weight to them. But it's a very good way of transporting an entire field of straw in one go. Look at that. So good. I don't know about you, but I really do like autumn, or fall, as you may call it, as a season. It can be depressing in a way because you know that winter is just around the corner, uh, if you're in a country where winter is like that. If it is really, really cold, then um, yeah, I think you probably know what I mean about it being depressing. But uh, at the same time, well obviously the UK doesn't get winters too bad. Not like some countries. But yeah, it's just such a, a picturesque month. With all these different coloured leaves and things. And it's also the uh, furthest away from the summer you can get. Because yeah, the next summer is going to be pretty much a year. Well, not, not quite a year, I suppose. A few seasons away. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is drop off that dolly there. I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. I'm just sort of trialling things. I'm hopefully... Just going to be able to reverse it into here and get loads and loads of money. This could be a shock to us all. Because I have absolutely no idea how much these bales are actually going to be worth. What I do know though is every single bale on the first trailer, this trailer, is 10,000 litres. So, yes, if I can just reverse in. Ready? Pretty good. Yep, pretty good. <laughs> Um, I think it's kind of going to come down to how you look at that. It could be seen as not that good because they are such big bells in the first place. But I'm not going to say it as that. I'm going to see that as good since it hasn't really cost me a great deal to produce them. They are just extra on top of the crop itself. Now I did have to lease the, uh, the second bale trailer and the dolly. But that only came to about £1,500. I am intentionally moving just the dolly out of the way, by the way. <laughs> if you thought I was just driving off without the trailer, uh, I'm, I'm going to much prefer to use this Scania. Got much more power in this than we do in the little Fit, although the Fit is still very good. 
We do also have beacons. Not that I really need to use them at this stage. So this one isn't going to be quite as good. Because as I've already explained, some of the bells, just a few of the bells, have a capacity of just 2,000 litres, but it is just a few, like three. Okay, so we'll unload both of those. And there we go. I would say that is a pretty good profit. By the way, I absolutely love this lorry. I might have mentioned it a few times already, but I really do. We have a passenger too. Hello. Yes. You keep staring... Coca-Cola, nice. I love Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, you keep staring at us. Need to watch us in our work. So, we have a co-driver. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't know how long this episode has been, because I know that a lot of it has been... Some Actually, before I do leave it there, I do have one thing to do. Obviously, I need to clear the, uh, the field of machinery. But what I wanted to do, which I'm going to have to... Uh, hmm. I'm going to have to go with this. I need to go over to those bales, those fermenting silage bales. Notice how I use the word fermenting instead of fermented because they are still fermenting, as we're about to discover. I'm going to put the, the tester on them, see how they're doing. Where am I? Yes, here we go. In that case, I didn't really need to get into this vehicle. <laughs> I didn't need to get into that at all. I have one of these. Okay, so yeah, grass, um, uh, silage 9.83%, 44 hours to go. And I'm guessing that's going to be the same throughout. That is still on the trailer, so it doesn't accept it. These were all made at a pretty similar time, yeah. A very small percentage between them, very small fraction. So yeah, there you go. We can sell these bells in pretty much 44 hours. So that is going to be a gigantic income. Now in the next episode, or in the stream which has already happened, I don't know, uh, these fields are going to be done the same way as those bales. So we're going to have so many silage bales, but I will be using the uh, variable bale capacity mod, so that we are going to have uh, a lot more crammed into each bale, which will reduce the amount of time we have to spend transporting them. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. See you again soon. Bye for now.